Hello my little gems and welcome back to my channel. So just quick do the old spill before we get into it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this week's spares idea. It's going to be more than one week I reckon because it's something completely different nobody's ever done before. Well I've never seen anyone done before. If they have then fantastic and um, if you haven't already please subscribe. So yeah, this week's spares ID is something completely different. And I mean completely different. I've never seen anybody do this before. So I've been trying I thought of something we can do with our pens. So and you're thinking which pens? All the pink pens. I don't know about you guys, but oh, I don't anybody else? We all have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pink pens. So, and I thought of something that we can do to um, try and use them. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I don't know if you guys get them in any other countries, but in, this year, in the UK, we do, they're called bead curtains. And you're thinking, what? Yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting these in half, decorating them. And then I think I'm going to hot glue the inside. Well, I'll put some string through, hot glue them. And then they're going to hang all down. That is my plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but... We're going to give it a go. So it's going to take me ages to decorate all these. But it's an idea I'm going with. And if it's an epic fail, it's an epic fail. One of you guys might use the idea and make it work. That's my plan if mine's an epic fail. So yeah, I've got so many pens, it's unreal. But I've been saving them. I don't like the bin date because, you know, I feel like it's a waste. Hello, Viscous. You all right? So, yeah. Um, we are going to give this a go, see what happens. And it could be an epic fail, like I said, or it could work out really well. So, as you guys know before, in the past, I have decorated pens just to try and use up some spares and try and find a use for these pens. So you can make yourself a bit more of a fancier pen just by decorating your old pens. And my cat's just joined me on the table. <laughs> so you get a cat bum there. Hello, Viscous. So yeah, um, so this is, that's the plan. Come on. So yeah, so that's the plan. Um, we are going to be decorating them. So what I've been doing, I've tried it out already. And like, mark your halfway point. Once you've cut up one, it's easy. So once you've done one, all you do is score. I'll show you guys anyway. Score. And then you just instantly snap in half. Really easy. Really, really easy. Once I've got a little score line going around it, just to give it a bit of where the pressure is going to break, basically. So yeah, so let's change the angle. And let's see, I'll show you guys exactly how I've decorated a couple and then we're going to get cracking into it. See if this is going to work or not work, okay? Come here. I love you too. I love you too. Yes, I do. I love you too. I love you. Is you cheeky? Right, so what you need for this spares project is many many a lot of us do keep all our peak pens on the possibility that we will find something to do with them so hopefully this will help you use some of them spare pink pens because i don't know about you guys but i've got a lot and i do have some people that do send me some because they know that i will think of a way of what to do with it i just looked outside and it's absolutely chucking it down Yay! So, what you need is a ruler. Um, you have a lighter pad. Quite often, your lighter pad has a um, like a ruler around the edges. But I 
bring my bring like my trusty little clear ruler you can just about make it out i think on screen you need pink pen you need something sharp i'm just using a craft knife so if you are a younger person please get an adult to help you um because i don't want you um hurting your fingers or cutting your fingers off or something like that okay right so most of my pens are just over 10 centimeters long as you can see that's another one and then some of them are a bit longer some of them are a bit shorter so i tried to go to another ones that are roughly about 10 centimeters to try and keep them all the same length so what i do is i measure it up so it's like just over the 10 centimeters that way and just over the zero that way just so it could be like roughly center and with my craft knife i mark put my craft knife where the center is roughly and then score around the edge If I sound all <coughs> nasally, I cut the grass yesterday and my hay fever is going absolutely bonkers. And I do need to walk up the chemist at some time, so I hope the rain does stop because I need to get some more medication. Right, so make that little don't think you guys can see it because my ring light is broken and i'm waiting for a new one to arrive but there is a line going all the way around and everything but so yeah just score around all the way around your pen and quite often it works the next thing i do it it works cleanly nine times out of ten. Cajun it's been a bit skewy, but it doesn't matter anyway. So I've scored all the way around my pen. And all we do is use your two fingers here, thumb in the middle, and snap it. Quite a clean break, not perfect, but you could just use your pen and just cut off the the bits that ain't so pretty just to make it look a little bit more tidier. Right, so then, right, so we've got a few pens ready to go. Then what we need next is some of our double-sided tape and some of our scissors. So we get our double-sided tape. Take a tip. I always leave the tip on for now. And go like that then I cut it and got a nice piece of cat hair there I use two different size um, double-sided tape but you can just use the one size and just cut along there to make another strip oh, I've got a little one there which fits perfectly here And then go down like so, and then cut again. Right. Now we use our tweezers and take off all the tape. Then I just use my fingers and make sure the tape is all on it nicely. Now, need our tray. And whatever colour you're choosing, I'll show you the ones I have done already. Um, I don't know how many we're going to need, I'm going to be honest, uh, because it is something completely different, something that's nothing. Never, I've never, ever, ever seen done before. 
So these are the ones I've done before. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see. Here we go. And here's the, here's the ones I've done already. I'm pretty sure that you guys can't really, that the lighting's not brilliant. So let me use my other phone and the torch. Here we go. Can you see all the different colours that I've done? I do some multicolours and some just plain. If you want to save time, just do plain. And done a couple of different patterns and you could do whatever you want with them, basically. Um, I do find the quickest way is to put them on like this one. If you can see, they just do them straight. When you do them like this one, it does take a little bit longer because of obviously the pattern. But yeah, I've done a whole ton and I'm doing some with specials, like the little sparkly ones, some just normal drills, some squares. So yeah, that is what I've done so far. So I'll show you how what decorate the pens. So let me zoom back in for you guys. I hope I zoomed in enough. I think I have. Right, so we've got our pen decorated, uh, not decorated, covered in the double side tape. I've been using double side tape because I can pull it down and it does get fiddly. After a while, you do get, you, know, you might get a bit of cramp in your old fingers. So that's why I've not um, fingered. I've not, um, Use the little B7000 glue. So, you can either put on the diamonds one by one. I always start with this edge here. And you can either go this way or this way. I find quickness wise, it's actually quicker to go this way, but you've got to make sure you put them on straight. Otherwise, you're going to look like it's all if as you go but to be honest at a distance it don't matter anyway does it so three and I'll just go around the old pen I have ordered a new, another new ring light. I tell you, I am having no luck at all with ring lights. I've got another one. It should be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm kind of getting a bit annoyed when it comes to ring lights because mine just keep breaking. I paid quite a bit for my last one. I paid £40, so... It's not even like it was a cheap one. So, yeah, it kind of annoyed me a little bit. So I've spent about 45 on a ring light this time. I don't have the money to spend about £80 on a ring light, you know. And some of them are like £200. I definitely don't have that money. That's a heck of a lot of money for somebody. So yeah, just all you have to do is just carry on. I'm just um, doing it in this this way because it's a lot quicker. And obviously, this is one of those spare projects that is going to take quite a long time. But if it comes out how I envision it in my head. I'm pretty sure it's going to look really nice. Oh, look, we've got another another cat hair. This time it's Samoa's. So, yeah. So, if, if it comes out how I've pictured it in my head, it's going to look really neat. That's if it comes out how I pictured it. Fingers crossed.
Yeah, I'm gonna carry on with this color. Uh, just use up as many of these reds as I possibly can from this little bag. So let's carry on and let's see how many we can get done in a couple of hours. And we. See what this um, be the curtains going to come out that I'm just you know hoping and praying it, the vision in my head is how it's going to come out. I pray that this how I've got it in my head is how it's going to come out. I really do because I have this vision and I'm just hoping it's going to. Work out. So I'm gonna go and get another cup of tea and carry on, okay? Right, so I am going to um, seal these ones so they're all done and everything. Um, I'm going to make a whole load more though, but I thought I'd quickly show you how I'm going to seal. For me, as this is an indoor project, it's going to go on the wall behind me in my videos. So I am just going to use PVA and water. Anybody who wants to put them outside or outside your back, your um, back door that sounds really wrong but that's what we call it in the uk um but yeah this stuff is absolutely brilliant apologies my lighting is rubbish i've got the everything i as much as i can do until my new um ring light arrives but yeah this is what i use any clear gloss varnish works wonders if you're in the uk the cheap stuff from b&q works brilliant um you ain't gonna spend a fortune on it but as this is going to be for me an indoor project i am just going to um what do you call it um seal it with pva and water so pva glue i think it's like school glue in america it's just white glue nothing fancy and i have a mug of water well, it's not a full mug but just enough so i can um i need to get this lid off now if you're in the uk i got this um glue from poundland so you haven't got to um, spend a lot of money on PVA glue. Um, it was a pound for this massive bottle. So 500 ml. So it's the size of a um, small bottle of Coke. God, this is on tight. Hang on a sec. Right. So I've got the lid off. Mix up with PVA and water. Really lovely drink there, isn't it? Do not drink it. Right, so what I do, I always now, whenever I have polystyrene, I know some people hate it, can't stand touching it. I fully understand my husband is the same. He cannot touch the stuff. If you can, this trick is definitely for you. Because then I can just throw this in the bin when I'm done with it, when it's all knackered and everything. So what I do, I save all the um, rubbishy tweezers that I get the kits and I can use them for things like this, basically. So what I do is get my, and just make some holes. 
and I can get my tweezers and I apologize about the noise if it's making you cringe and then just make sure they're a bit spread out And of course you can get um, two um, of these little beat of the pen halves on each. I have no idea what this black is from. It's just literally fallen. I must have done something or painted something or I got a clue. Something. Something. I've done something. Right. And then what I do, get another pair of tweezers like so get my glue and I just dunk it all in and then pop it on your tweezers and then with the tweezers how they are you've got space for like it just to drip off all the excess and it's a less messy way of doing it for you all Because this process, if you were just using your fingers, will be extremely messy. Extremely messy. But doing it this way, you're saving yourself from making all the mess. Get yourself covered in glue. Your polystyrene will catch all the ex excess and then, yeah, so it's definitely like a bit of an easier way to do it. And then you just have to let these dry. It's definitely like, it is uh, an easier way to do it and less messy for you. Uh, do it the same with the um, varnish if you want or just use a little paintbrush. It does take a long while though. It is quite fiddly with a paintbrush. Right, let's move that in slightly. I need to, I'll go here instead. And obviously with the polystyrene, your tweezers easily stand in the air, which is nice. You haven't got to worry about how you're going to dry, you know, let all the paint drip off these and everything else. So that's why I, I did this before when I did my pens. Um, you know, I decorated the pens. A lot easier to do it this way than having to um I'm wondering how on earth you're gonna get a lot of these things so yeah your your cheap tweezers do come in handy for something because i know a lot of people don't like using these tweezers because they're not exactly brilliant but there is always something you can do with them. Like I say, I do try and think of something I can use everything for. Waste not, want not. And like a whole piece of um, polystyrene. I don't just like to put in the bin. I, I always think, right, that's going to come in handy when I need to dry a spares project. In which they do. So, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of excess come off. And because you've got it on the polystyrene, you've got no mess really to clean up at the end either. So, yeah, it definitely is a whole lot easier to do it this way. You don't have to do it this way. You know, 
but if you wanted to there is a way for you to do it so yeah definitely is it just helps save a bit of time really they are separated so let's do a few more Just thinking, what, what tweezers were they then? These ones, they feel quite thick and different, so I don't think I'll use them. I just tried to use these cheap ones. Right, so I'm going to cut, get these last few finished, and um, I'll catch you back in a sec. Right, I'm just holding this with my hand, just so you guys can see. But, yep, they're all ready. They're all drying. All done. And there's quite a few here I've done so far, but I, I'm pretty sure I need to do quite a few more. So, yeah, all these ones are all done with the old PVA and water. Um, as it's going to be an inside side project, I thought I might just use PVA water, not worry about, you know, sealing with more expensive varnish. But if it is going to be an outside project for you guys, fully recommend using the varnish, honestly. Best stuff ever. So, yeah. Right. So, I am going to cut to the outro, okay? Right. So, these are, they, they are all dry. Let me just show you. As you can see, they are all nice and dry and sealed. I just give them the one coat. Where's the hole? There's the hole. And yep, yeah, they are all done and ready to go. And yeah, so come back next time. Um, I'm going to get a load more of these beads done. Uh, yeah, it's taken. They do take a long time, but I hope that this is going to be worth it. So yeah. Come on next time and let's see exactly how we get on. I am really looking forward to putting these together if it works out in my mind how I hope it's going to work out. So yeah, come back next time and we will see how hopefully it'll be a two-parter, if not it'll be a three-parter, or me getting more of these um, beads done because obviously as you can see, they, this is 40-odd here. 
and I think I'm going to need a lot more. So, yeah, come back next time and let's see exactly how we get on. Thank you ever so much for watching my little gems. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this week's spares idea. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to um, hit that notification bell. Bill? Bell. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Bye, everyone.